Ah, relative motion. You can enjoy this concept for a number of reasons. Some people enjoy it because of the incredibly mind-melting math that accompanies it. I personally enjoy it because it relates to a particular scene in Futurama where Kubert is discussing how the planet Express ship moves. Which, of course, I can't show you because I'd be murdered to death by a string of copyright lawyers. But I can show you a few examples. This is relative motion. Whoa! Oh. Oh. Did you see that? Did you see that? The ground came up out of nowhere and hit me. No, I'm pretty sure you tripped and fell onto the ground. No way, man. It totally came up and hit me. Did you see that? I was investigating relative motion before it was popular. See, he, uh, he agrees with me. I think. Now, Mr. Bell Curve does have a point. From his perspective, it did look like the ground came up and hit him. It's only because we have other senses like balance and proprioception that we're able to tell that we were the ones falling. But in a purely visual way, the motion relative to Bell Curve's frame of reference was that the ground came up and hit him, and the motion relative to my frame of reference was that he tripped and fell over. But this example only really shows frame of reference. Now it's time to talk about relative velocity. What was that? What just happened? So, what bell curve was blithely illustrating was an example of relative motion. To bell curve, it looks like he's throwing the ball straight up and down. Nothing to it. But to us, the ball is traveling much farther than simply up and down. It also has horizontal motion. This illustrates that apparent velocity is based on the velocity of the viewer. And that is relative velocity. But you want to know something else crazy? I'll tell you. The ball still has motion different than what I showed. Remember, we're on a planet which is spinning on an axis. And we're also revolving around the sun. So the true motion of the ball to a completely motionless observer is much crazier than what I showed in this video. But modeling this motion is kind of hard to do in a video, so... Steiny! Show us the true motion of the ball. What? What? 